All right, so I think it's worthwhile to take a video. We're completely off grid here. And I'm gonna show how we use power and lighting. We got a lot of battery powered lights around here. This little guy has lasted like years. This is a BioLite system. Oh, lights behind me. That's all solar powered. And as I walk back towards the door here, the TV's being powered by an EcoFlow. I'm hotspotting off of my cell phone to watch a documentary. This light here is on a switch, just like the one that I showed you behind the bed. The one by the door is motion activated so I can get my shoes on. We use a DeWalt fan for airflow. The Cinderella incinerating toilet in here is running off of propane and its own solar panel. But it's nighttime here, so I'm going to show you how we light this place up. So as soon as I go out the door here, there's going to be another motion activated solar light. You can see these little solar lights we put wherever there's a spot to trip. That light comes on as soon as anyone goes near the door. Like Amazon, 40 bucks for four pack. These little solar lights, I think my wife got them at the home hardware or something. Cruise down the path here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's the whole point of this video. This is gonna light up now because I'm walking towards it. This gets us in the door. In here, it's very dark on purpose. We usually keep one of these little, whoop, sorry. One of these little battery powered candle lights above the heater. That's enough for light for the boys at night. And they also have a couple of little battery powered lights. And then this sleeping bunkie, that's all there is in here. We don't need anything more than that. Get a little light from the fire if it's winter. So these little ground mounted lights seem to work great. And then we spent some time this weekend wrapping the entire building in other solar powered lights that just have like a little panel and then a whole bunch of these string lights. So we'll go around the back here first. This one just came on because I got close to it. These lights on in the cabin, I'll show you that in a little while. So these string lights wrap all the way around the building while I'm tripping and falling. There's a couple little solar panels that you can't really see very well. Those are gonna grab light during the day to run all these string lights. So the string lights wrap their, their way around the cabin, underneath the soffit and on the gable ends. That's just enough light so that people don't trip and fall. Like we're in kind of Northern Ontario here. There's roots and rocks and all kinds of stuff. I'm not about to make this perfect. But we put these ground mounted lights on either side of the stairs as I get closer. There's another motion activated light to prevent people from tripping up and down the stairs. This is our outdoor kitchen over here. So this is gonna get moved actually. I gotta wait for my guy to come up and help me with the shed mule to get it into place. This is gonna get a set of those string lights too, but it also has a motion activated light right by the door. And these are all like really cheap guys, like really cheap. Those little motion activated lights are 10 bucks a piece. These string lights are maybe 30 bucks for like 30 feet of light. You see all these little guys on the ground. I think they're 10 bucks a piece. We put a little bit of extra light over this area here where you see this table. This is where we all put our coolers and that ends up being a bar when we have guests over. There's tons of light here. It's not even quite dark yet. And then inside this cabin, I don't know why I sniff when I make videos. It's kind of weird. We got lots of light over the table. This is the control box and the battery. This is no longer available on Amazon, by the way. People asked me in my last video when I showed that. I can't find it, but it's been working for us for like three years now. There's another light here. And then upstairs, I'm not even sure I've showed this before. Pull down this, 
get the ladder down. Just give me a second. Ugh. I'm gonna go up here. It's gonna get dark for just a second. And I'll reach over here. We have another switch for the third light up here, which lights up the loft. So there's a queen size bed over here, good for two. And then over here, we've got a twin and a twin upstairs in the little cabin. And that's the same battery pack. I wish I could find that, or maybe like somebody should replicate that because it, it's been really good. I actually bought a second one and it failed. So I sent it back and then I couldn't find the listing anymore. But whatever the heck that thing was called. I can no longer find it, so. So we have light like everywhere. This is a little awkward to do with one hand. We have light, lots of light in this kitchen. That's just a little tiny five watt solar panel that we keep in this window. It's on the inside of the building. There's the panel there. We put it on the inside of the window and it's it's never been without power. Like we've spent a week at a time up here and it's enough light. <laughs> so listen, that's how we light up our off-grid cabin. Just little switches. I'm going to go to bed pretty soon. So we'll turn that one off. We'll leave that one on because I'll probably be back in here just to wash up. But now we have more than enough light out here too. Totally off grid guys. I just use wood screws to throw these into the, the trusses and wherever they would stick. And these things are just like, everything has their own little battery. If one of them fails, we just replace it. It's all cheap. It's all really usable. Oh, thank you. Don't want to trip and fall but just enough light that it's subtle and it doesn't like annoy you all the way along the back here. And everything's run from these two little panels around the, the, the main cabin here. We're mostly, oh, I'm tripping on something. We're mostly safe to walk around here. Thank you. Turn on as soon as I get close. Going to the main cabin and this turns on too. My movie's still on, running off the EcoFlow. And I'll get back to my Gene Wilder documentary. <laughs> off grid and loving it. Cheers.